Hi, my name's Ben, and today we're going to look at how to connect your compatible iPhone and Pioneer wireless receiver to Apple CarPlay using a wireless connection. This connection method is compatible with the following Pioneer wireless models. The Pioneer AVIC Z910 DAB navigation receiver, AVIC Z710 DAB navigation receiver, and the AVHZ 9150BT AV receiver. Note this process is only required for the initial setup, as both devices will automatically connect to each other when you turn on your vehicle. Through this demonstration, the on-screen functions are the same, but button layout will differ slightly depending on the model you are using. The first step is to check the current firmware of your Pioneer receiver by selecting the gear icon on the home screen menu. Press the tools icon on the left of screen, scroll to the bottom and press system information, followed by firmware information. Check the displayed firmware version is current by going to www.pioneer.com.au forward slash firmware software and entering the model number of your product. Ensure you are using an iPhone 5 or newer and we also do recommend updating the iPhone to the latest version of iOS. Next step is to check some important settings on your device. Before doing this, make sure your vehicle is parked and the park brake is engaged. Firstly, press the gear icon on the home screen, select the tools icon, select smartphone related settings, and press the driving position option to adjust to right hand drive. This will ensure your screen layout is best for right hand drive vehicles. Next, press the back arrow and scroll down to Wi-Fi settings. Confirm Wi-Fi is turned on. Press the back arrow and select the Bluetooth icon at the bottom of the screen. Check that visibility is turned on. Once this is complete, press the X icon and go back to the home screen. Your Pioneer receiver is now prepared for connection. Next on the iPhone, select Settings and confirm both your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections are switched on. If they are connected to other networks or devices, this is okay. You just need to confirm they're switched on. On your iPhone, the first connection you need to make is a Bluetooth connection. So select Bluetooth in your iPhone setting menu and look for your Pioneer's receiver model to appear on screen. Select the Pioneer receiver and you will see a pairing request confirmation message including a pin code. This will appear on both devices. Confirm the pin code matches on both devices, then select pair on the smartphone and yes on the receiver. Select allow for your contacts and favourites to sync to your receiver. You have now completed a Bluetooth connection. Keeping the Bluetooth menu open on your smartphone, press the home key of your Pioneer receiver and select the smartphone icon in the bottom corner of the screen. This will search for available smartphones to connect to. Once you see your smartphone appear, select it on screen and you will see a message appear to check the smartphone screen to complete the connection. On the smartphone, you will see a message asking if you want to use CarPlay. Press Use CarPlay and wait a moment while the connection completes. You have now completed your Apple CarPlay wireless connection. You will note on the screen of your Pioneer's receiver, the display will show the recent apps, clock, phone reception and battery level indicator. This screen is almost identical regardless of if you're using CarPlay connected by USB or wireless. The only difference is you will see the battery level display included only if you are connected by wireless connection. Some other ways you can connect Apple CarPlay via wireless connection are the following. Please note, no devices can be connected to the in-dash receiver via Bluetooth or CarPlay. Firstly, follow steps one to three from connection method one regarding checking firmware and checking the settings of the receiver and smartphone are prepared. Next, go into the settings of your iPhone and select General, then select CarPlay. On your Pioneer receiver, long press the microphone button and a message will appear indicating it's searching for a device. You'll then be prompted with a pairing request on both the Pioneer receiver and also the iPhone. Confirm the pin code matches on both notifications and accept on both devices. A message will appear on your iPhone requesting your contacts and favourites to sync. Press allow. The CarPlay screen should now be displayed on the receiver. Please note, no devices can be connected to the in-dash receiver via Bluetooth or CarPlay. 
Firstly, follow steps one to three from connection method one regarding checking the firmware and checking the settings of the receiver and smartphone are prepared. Next, confirm the USB extension lead supplied with your Pioneer receiver is connected to the USB port one on the rear of the Pioneer receiver. Run this extension to a safe place in the cabin and connect your compatible USB to lightning lead. Connect the lightning connector to your iPhone and you'll see a message prompt on the phone asking if you wish to allow Apple CarPlay while the phone is locked. Select allow. Another prompt will appear on your iPhone asking if you wish to use wireless CarPlay. Select enable wireless CarPlay. Next, unplug the lightning lead from the iPhone and the Apple CarPlay display will disappear from the Pioneer receiver. Go to the home screen of the Pioneer receiver, select the smartphone icon in the bottom corner of the screen, select your phone from the list and Apple CarPlay will connect wirelessly. I hope this assists you with connecting Apple CarPlay wireless with your compatible Pioneer receiver and allows you to enjoy a cable free journey. For further information, please visit our website or your nearest authorised Pioneer car audio retailer.